Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to recap the series finale of Riverdale, the CW show that has been on the air for seven seasons. The finale was titled Goodbye, Riverdale, and it was a nostalgic and emotional episode that gave us a glimpse of what- Before continue, I request you to subscribe our channel and press on the bell icon button for new videos notifications on time what happened to our favorite characters in the future. Let's get into it. The episode starts with an 86-year-old Betty, played by Michelle Scarabelli, reading the obituaries and seeing Jughead's name among them. She tells her granddaughter Alice that she was friends with Jewhead and the others in high school, and that they had marvelous adventures. She says she's the last one of them who's still alive, and she wants to go back to Riverdale one more time before she forgets everything. She falls asleep reading her yearbook and wakes up to find a young Jughead sitting at the foot of her bed. He's actually an angel, and he offers to take her back to relive one day of her youth in Riverdale. She chooses the day of senior year when they got their yearbooks, and when she walks through a door in the wall, she's young again and in her teenage bedroom. Through her window, she sees Archie, who tells his mom Mary he'll be building highways this summer all the way to California. She's worried he won't want to come back, but he assures her he'll never forget about Riverdale. Jughead reveals that Archie finds love out west and settles in Modesto, where he has a happy and calm life. He's buried in Riverdale next to his father. Betty finds her mom Alice and her sister Polly downstairs, and she's overjoyed to see them in the flesh again. Alice divorced Hall and became a stewardess, and Jughead reveals that she ends up marrying one of her passengers and traveling the world with him. Polly, meanwhile, will have her twins and never go back to her burlesque act. At school, Betty marvels at how young and beautiful everyone is, and Tony reads a poem by Langston Hughes over the loudspeaker. Hold fast to dreams slash for if dreams die slash life is a broken-winged bird slash that cannot fly. Betty gets her yearbook signed by Fangs, who's about to head out on tour after releasing a hit single. Sadly, his tour bus crashes and he dies, Jughead says, making Fangs the first of the gang to pass away. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.